Well, Singapore has extended the shelf life of a law that governs safe management measures for another year. Senior Minister of State for Health Ko Po Kun says this will help Singapore remain nimble and adaptable as the pandemic continues to evolve. But MPs questioned if the restrictions were really necessary given the improving situation. The fact that COVID is spreading widely through our population, even with such high vaccination rates, should lead us to continue to review whether the control measures we currently have in place remain fit for purpose. They also add significant costs to businesses and entities who need to implement them and inconvenience members of the public. Many dread the thought of continued restrictions on social gatherings, economic activities and events. They ask how is this endemic living if we continue to live with these nationwide restrictions that impact social well-being and businesses. I'm not suggesting that we do away with the measures, but I hope the Ministry can and will introduce more certainty. Each variant, as we've seen in the past two years, has somewhat different characteristics and slightly different behaviour compared to each other. And therefore, no single set of parameters can be solely relied upon and we have to remain nimble and take all factors into account in designing any of these restrictions. As mentioned in my opening speech, we take a calibrated approach in the control measures and have made progressive adjustments to the SMMs as the COVID situation evolves.